This meditation thing just isn't working. Breathe in. Boredom. A million and one fucking thoughts. She sits fidgeting. Restless and insecure. She wants it and she wants it now. Privileged in every single way she's ready to give up because clearly she's not made for this. Why does everyone else seem to be able to do it? And why on earth do they like it? Some days she's angry with the world because it's never lived up to the expectations she had. Light work as unseeing rainbows of energy in my ass. Some days she's just angry with herself for not being able to crack this energy thing that people keep talking about. Manifesting? Poppycock, she squirms. This is not my dimension clearly. And this stupid pillow my aunt bought me is too hard. And she has already wasted, like, a week thinking about all of those things she really wants to attract into her life. She's felt the feels. And yet she's still here, in the exact same place. Meh. Whatever. Message from the Four of Cups if you are finding yourself bored. And satisfied or frustrated with your current situation. Know that you are likely missing the vibrant landscapes that are present. They lie just beyond your peripheral vision. Often. We become so focused on our own internal perspectives that our feelings about a situation can prevent us from noticing the arrival of extraordinary opportunities and remarkable things. If you remain open to shifting ever so slightly in order to see your situation in a fantastic new light, you will learn that the present moment is filled with the most dynamic array of colors. Put your rainbow and rose-colored glasses on for a moment. Your thoughts continuously anchor you to your perception and your perception creates your unique pattern of seeing and the patterns you see in your life can be changed when you dedicate yourself to it wholeheartedly. Do the work. There is magic here exactly here, when you look for it. Instead of focusing on what you don't have focus on what you do, or even better, spend energy focusing your thoughts on the experiences that you will absolutely and undoubtedly create. Allow those thoughts to turn to feelings. And allow those feelings to begin to shape the pattern of your perception. Taking time to meditate and to slow your mind will show you that your life is better than it seems. Take a good honest look at your attitude. It's up to you to shift into feelings of abundance in order to feel the fortuitous avenues available to you right now. Questions for the seer, are you feeling like the grass is greener on the other side? How would a total pessimist see your situation? And how would a total optimist view it? And where do you sit? Are you rejecting sacred gifts that the universe is offering? Prediction Crystal Ball Be able to focus on needs. Receiving the Four of Cups in this position suggests you will be able to focus on your own needs. Perhaps some pressures in your life will lessen and, in addition, other people will make fewer demands on you. Taking this time out to just look after your own needs for a while will help you to become stronger in yourself and will impact positively on your life in many ways. Just be careful not to return to old habits of caring for others too soon or too easily. It is important to take this time for yourself when you have it. People close to you will benefit in the long run. She is stuck. Bound impossibly anchored down. She has no options. And the universe seems to conspire against her every step of the way. Why does everyone and everything keep me down? Why am I so unlucky? Why it is always me every time she tries to move, she stumbles. Every step causes pain. Every moment spins her deeper into her own set of chains. Each time making her more convinced that the world is out to get her. Breathing deeply she comes to the realization that there is no way for her to continue unless she makes some serious changes. She wonders. For the briefest of moments, what would life look like if I assumed the universe was working in my favor? What would change if I began to see opportunity instead of blockades? Lessons instead of failures? Old stories instead of oppressions? What if I stopped believing in my bad luck? Or stopped blaming everything on others? And on past scenarios that put me on the wrong path? What if I forgave that teacher from grade school? My boss? That abusive family member and that asshole boyfriend from university? She closed her eyes and got a bird's eye view of her truth, choice and perception. And the moment she saw beyond the veil of her blinders, there was no turning back, because her work towards freedom began the instant she looked within. Message from the Eight of Swords The Eight of Swords is a gentle reminder that we are the creators of our reality. Look beyond the veil of illusion that your current limitations are projecting. If you are feeling trapped with no clear path forward at this time remember that this too is a perspective that can be lifted. When you choose sovereignty over victimhood, you become the fierce wielder of choice. You can choose to free yourself from your shackles, because you are the one person who is responsible for your happiness. Your outcome will shift dramatically when you look to yourself as the sole solution. Create infinite portals of possibility by taking full responsibility over your life. You are never really stuck. It is a perfect time to nurture your soul. Spend the time you need to transmute any feelings of helplessness. While we can't control all of the experiences that are put on our path, we can definitely work on how we respond to them. It's a good time to let go of old wounds and stories that you are carrying. Be vigilant of any wallowing, 
low vibe thoughts, and try to reframe your experiences as lessons to be processed. Choose to heal. Questions for the seer In which areas of your life do you feel impossibly bound? The illusion of being stuck often keeps us in one place for too long. With zero baggage and zero restrictions. Where would you go and what would you do, sweet light? What stories are holding you back? And how can you release them? Prediction Crystal Ball Getting back on track. Receiving the Eight of Swords in this position predicts you will find yourself becoming more aware of your true path. By being completely honest with yourself now and seeing where you may have been tempted off your path for example by money, security or popularity, you will be able to get yourself back on track. This could require great strength, clarity of thought, force of will and belief in yourself. But receiving this card implies that you possess all these qualities. Choosing your right path can mean having to make difficult decisions about who your real friends are or what your right work is, whether your relationship is working etc. But these areas will need to be looked at in order to lead the authentic life you deserve. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated and will help my channel to grow. Wishing you all the best in all your endeavors. And for you to have a happy and loving life. Until next time. Bye.